I kill you like a roach. Welcome to the D6 dungeon. It's not really a dungeon since I don't have any bite to this opening, but we got castled. I know some of you guys like to play fast. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I see. I see the, the plan. I'm trying to go knight g5. I'm trying to take here. Holy smokes. I'm scared. Very scary. So I'm going to overprotect. Can't be afraid. We can't be afraid. Sometimes you, you gotta learn to defend. I'm up the exchange in a pawn. Sure, my king's a bit loose. That's that's life. In the meantime, I'm thinking about how do I get counterplay, and I need to start building my center and clogging these bishops. c6, d5, e4, c6, d5, d4, d5 right away maybe. Pawns are good at pushing pieces back though. I move back. I'm gonna take that. I'm, I don't see what the threat is yet. And now I play d5. You're gonna get a check on me. You can always check me here. Maybe some bad things will happen. How willing am I? Here. Here. All right. I'm gonna play a chicken move. I wanna go e4, but I'm gonna bring my queen in first for some extra protection. This guy is scary. Jeez Louise. All right, gonna have to move the king. We don't like being pinned. I don't see ghosts. If I lose, I lose. They play a good game. Interesting. There's this move. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. All right, we're gonna overprotect. We're gonna have to overprotect here. Queen here, then we can try to body it. Very scary. But I don't see the follow-up yet. It might be there. Okay, what's the move? It's certainly not hanging the queen. Is the knight coming here? Probably. Jeez. This guy is super strong. Let's take here. I'm in trouble.
I'm in trouble. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh. One of my best draws of all time. Now, on chess.com, you lose 0.1 for every move you make. So there's only one move humanly possible that doesn't win. And that's rook d7. You can click resign, but you have to make a chess move. Buddy played the only move that didn't win on time. Nazar. All right, good luck. D6. I'm not getting good positions with D6. You're going to have to change it up. I'm going to have to play a little more seriously. Which means some King's Indian chess. One of my first openings. Go for an early castle. White maybe goes F3. No? Okay. I'm going to go Knight C6. That My point is to go Knight G4. It's a bit of an opening trick. Because I win their best piece, which is a dark squared bishop. Without the dark square bishop, my bishop on d4 is very happy. I don't mind going h5. Let's tickle the queen. Is that really a problem? It's hard to imagine it is. Let's go here. Gonna bring my... Now my bishops are very active. Very active, very happy. I have active bishops. I have a strong knight. Uh-oh. There's a problem with that move. Does anyone see it? Anyone see the tactical reason? You gotta be sharp if you play the King's Indian. There's a problem here, a big problem for white. Hint, it has to do with the bishops and it has to do with the pins. I'll give you 10 seconds. If you saw it, you're probably a really good chess player. Zerland is a good chess player. Knight takes e2 and rook takes e4 because of the pin. And the position collapses. Unfortunately for uh, our, our opponent here. Queen here, I can just keep snapping. I got the same threats. Yep, that's a quick KO. Bishop f5 is next. Sergey, good luck. Alrighty. We're gonna play some more Kings Indian positions because. I'm not happy. We're getting more d4 games and in d6, I'm gonna play King's Indian. The knight on f6. So we'll just go e5. Knight c6. Somebody named Sergei probably knows what to do. See, anybody named Sergei is usually a good chess player. I'm gonna go a5, you take away b4 moves, you make it a little harder. Yeah. I'm going to try my best, but white's job is to crash through on the queen side while I prepare a king side initiative. 
This is an interesting way to play it. I'm gonna play it differently as well. I'm gonna go king here. Sometimes you go knight g8 and bishop h6 and get rid of your bad bishop. The dark sword bishop actually is your bad bishop. All right, let's go knight f6. I also play king here so that the... So rook c1 is a funny looking move. So rook g1 now can come into play. Sergey's coming for me though, eh? Let's take here once. Bring my knight in. Sergey. Sergey's attacking. Sergey's gonna go knight here. I'm gonna go rook f7. Sergey's gonna go rook c6. I'm gonna go bishop f8. Okay. Let's push. This is what the King's Indian looks like. It's a very stressful opening. Knight c7 is a good move. I shouldn't have allowed it. Don't support these guys. But when you use Sergey, it was dangerous. I'm gonna go rook here. Sergey is gonna go knight there. I'm not too happy to give that bishop up. But this pawn might be loose. Okay, I'm gonna take the pawn. Okay. Problem is, it's hard to attack with all my light square bishop because white has two defenders on g4. Sergey's strong. It's, a, it's always annoying. I'm moving my bishop here to overprotect this. Okay, that's that's a move I can live with. The problem is my pieces are stuck. So let's go rookie seven. I'm gonna reroute it to a7. It wasn't doing anything over here. King up. Sergey's coming for me. Okay, I thought I had this move. I don't know if it's good, but I thought it might be interesting. Should I throw this move in first? Yeah, let's throw that move in first. And if queen here, we can double. Because this is loose. <laughs> I'm up a pawn, but it feels like I'm not, right? That's that's what happens here. All right, we'll go d5. That's a tactic that uh, white missed. When I take here, now this is loose. Snuck in, and Sergey resigns. Sergey's a good player. Resigns quickly, play the opening well. I don't think, even think I played that poorly. I think Sergey knew exactly what he studied. He studied chess. It was a very interesting. Yeah, I had to play some some defense there. The d5 was a good move. Bishop takes would have been check. And in this position, materials even. I have some pressure here. I felt okay about it. Mo Massey, good luck. We'll go d6. I'll go for a fianchetto. But because I've, I've gone d6 without knight f6, I'm gonna fight for the d4 square a little earlier. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play this yet. I might go for a different setup. Do I have a different setup? Maybe not. We'll try. We'll go queen b6. We'll try to tickle early. Just because my knight's not blocking my bishop, I'm going for a different move order. I'm 
I'm going for flexibility. Although I have to watch out for my C6 spawn being a little bit loose. Okay. If, if you take, I'll be happy because that corrects my pawn structure. If you don't take, I'm also okay. But I'm not going to take and give white the file. No, no, no. No free files for white. Let's go rook b8. I'll go there for sure. And you want to go for this? Okay, let's block that. So I have the bishop out early, which has some benefits. Might even start tickling it. Uh, where is your knight going? I go here. Yeah. Something looks off about the position here. Let's attack this bishop and attack the spawn. I'm going to be really boring here. I'm going to take to double the pawns and I'm going to offer a queen trade. I'm just going to play an endgame against young Mo. Mo Massey. I got Mo Mass, I don't have Mo Massey. I'm going to offer a queen trade. Because these are double isolated pawns. Mo Mass. Let's go for this guy. Oh, I want this pawn. Give me this pawn. If you go here, I got a nice little fat fork for you. Let's grab that. Let's grab this. Let's go here. If here, I have 93. You don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to do that. I'm sorry to do that to you, buddy. This game felt a bit like bullying, but I was provoked. Check. And now we trade. I want this pawn. Thank you. Where are you going with your bishop? Yeah, good game. Any baddies in the chat? The Finns are here. All right. King's Indian's coming. All right, we're playing against e4, so it's not necessarily King's Indian. We can play a modern. The modern, you don't go in f6, I'm gonna go a6. And an early b5, and an early knight d7. I'm not showing my cards yet. I'm not showing my cards on the king's side because I wanna delay white's ability to play bishop h6 and trade off my dark squared bishop. I'm gonna counter attack on the queen side. Yes. All right, let's take. I kind of have a bit of a dragon setup, but I'm, I'm withholding. I'm withholding knight f6 for the time being. Okay, now we can play it. Now we can play it. Now we got, you know, now there's no more bishop h6. All right, let me grab that. Can I grab this? Sure. Yes. I saw all of this. But I thought at the end of all this, I could grab this pawn. Is that too greedy? can live on the edge a little bit. Why am I going e6? I'm also discouraging this. We'll grab that. All right. So now white's pawn structure is ruined. But I have two pawns hanging. All right. There are some exciting moves here. Q4. 
queen here is what I'm investigating. But I don't see the working line. So I'm, what I'm actually going to do is go into an endgame. Which might be a little low T. But I'm, I was arguing that my pawn structure is better. Which it is. But I need to figure out how I'm going to actually get set up here. I'm going to castle. I'm going to do it. Knight e4? Don't do knight e4. That's much better. Now I'm going to argue that a bishop is much better than a knight in this kind of position, which is true. It's an open position. My king is very safe. I have a better structure even. Efg versus hgf. And it's time to bring the soldiers in. I might have back rank ambitions. I might have rookie two, rook f2 ideas. This pawn keeps this honest. I go here. What's your move? I'm just trying to back rank. If you go rook here, I go king up. I ignore your rook. You go knight here, I take and I bring another rook in. You don't want to get between a Canadian, thirsty Canadian guy and the back rank. It's not going to end well. Yeah, I think that's mate. Or I'm going to win, like, heavy material. But this bishop is dominant versus the other pieces. And the king's safer. I think white played pretty okay. I think they should have tried to get rid of my bishop instead of uh, grabbing a6. They grab that. All right, let's grab this. Bring another rook in. G3 takes. Check. I defend. Sure. Yep, just a piece up. Good game. Good game to me, W007. Castor, good luck. Are we going to play King's Indian? We're going to play a Dutch defense. Which you shouldn't see every day here. Not an easy opening to play. Alright, let's go in 84. I like White's position. This opening is like... I don't know why people play it. It stresses me out. Let's go knight a6. I don't know what I'm doing there, but if you go e4, I'm gonna go f4. Why did I play the Dutch? Alright, I'm gonna go e6. A flaccid move. Now I will go f4, which doesn't do anything, but it can spook some people because they don't want to take and open up the rook. So g4 might be played. I don't want to take, so I'm going to go d5. But this bishop is terrible. It's going to take a long time to get that guy open. This is a horrible position. I'm definitely not advertising this opening. Somebody's... If you're disturbed by what you're seeing... That makes two of us. I'm trying to open up my light squared bishop ASAP.
The good thing about this knight is at least it has a purpose defending this. Mm -hmm. All right, I see some tactics on the horizon. I'm going to go for it. Take this pawn. It's bait. Oh, I had some nasty bait set up. We'll do it later. I'm looking to attack. But my opponent's playing steady. This knight, I'm not happy with it. You can actually take this pawn. I was willing to sacrifice that. I'll show you why. Go here. I'm going to sacrifice the exchange. All planned. Is it good? Oh, that's a different question. That's a totally different question. I'm going to give a check just to try to be cheeky. I don't play well, I just have tricks. Just have my tricks. <clears throat> and now the two pieces are gonna hurt. You can't take here because of this. Let's take this. Let's take that. Let's attack this. Let's keep attacking, stick it in. And we're looking for mate. That's a good move. I don't like seeing good moves. All right. We're going to have to go for some other ideas. Yes. Check. When in doubt, I got to go for checkmate. Check. Check. A little cheeky checks. Yep. There we go. I'm happy with E5. I'm threatening this move. Couldn't resist going for the piece, but we got a nice little mate prepared. All right, 2200 on the dot, no losses for once. Thanks for watching another episode of my D6 speedrun. If you like our content, all I ask is that you subscribe to the channel below. It's going to notify you every time we release a video. And if you want to move on to the next episode of the speedrun, just click over there.